Hi everyone and welcome to this video. So in this video we're going to be looking at class-based API views. So we've been creating our view functions but they have been function-based views and we've allowed them to help us create, read, update and delete our post objects using our serializers. Now in this video we're going to be looking at class-based views and how they can allow us to do this in a much more organized way. We're also going to be looking into how we can reduce the amount of code that we write to achieve some of the things we've been doing. So without further ado, let us get started. So I'm going to head over to our views.py right here and the first thing we're going to do is to create API views. So we're going to begin by creating a class-based API view but this is not going to be any sort of API view. We're going to begin from scratch. So I'm going to begin by importing our API view class. So every API view that you create as a class-based API view inherits from this API view class. Now go ahead and import this. So I'll say we're going to import our API view class. And when we import our API view class, I'm going to simply come right down here. So the first view we are going to implement is the one for listing as well as creating our posts. Now I'm going to come and I'm going to actually remove this API view right here. The one that we created for creating and listing our posts. Now I'll begin by creating this class and this is going to be our post list and this will actually be our post list create view that's going to be responsible for both creating and listing all our post objects. Now this is going to inherit from our API view and once we've done that then we shall basically go ahead and specify the different HTTP methods that we are going to use on this view. So the way we do that is by calling. So for example let's say we are calling a post method we are going to simply define a method onto this class and that will be our get method. So this will take in self, it will take in a request object that's going to be of type request and then we will take in a bunch of positional arguments and keyword arguments so shall do it like that so i'm going to pass this for now and then we're also going to have one for creating so this is going to be a post method so also going to define that by def post and then we shall say self so this will take in a request and this request is going to be of type request then it will take in args and then quags so right after doing that, then let us go ahead and implement the functionality of these views. So the first thing we shall do is to specify our serializer class. So our serializer class is our post serializer. And what this is going to allow us to do is to convert our objects to JSON as well as to help us be able to create our post objects with some validation of the various fields that we shall pass to our API. So the first thing I'm going to do is to provide this as an attribute. So I'll come and say that we're going to have a serializer class. And this serializer class is going to be our post serializer. And right after doing that, then I'm going to come within our get request here or our get method and within we we shall actually have to first have an instance or a query of all posts that come from our database so i'm going to do that with posts and in this case our post is going to be equal to post and in this case we shall query for all posts so i'll say post.objects.all and right after doing that then we're going to create an instance of our serializer that's going to help us to serialize these posts so i'll do that with serializer and this is going to be so we shall actually call our post serializer and in this case we shall pass our instance so the instance is going to be the data that we need to return as json so this is going to be our posts and then we shall also need a many attributes. So since we are returning a query set which is not serializable, we need some way of returning this in a list. So the many attribute we provide for this is going to be a boolean that we're going to set to true and this will return a list of data or a list in JSON for all the posts that we have in our database. Now once we have this I'm simply going to come and return a response now this response is going to have the data and the data we're going to have in here is going to be our serializer data. So in this case we're going to say serializer.data and then we shall pass in our status. So the status is going to be the status code that we are going to return with this response. So that status code will be status.http200. Okay. 
now after doing this then the next thing we're going to do is to actually take care of our post creation so what i'll do in this case is to just come right in here i'm actually going to document this as so this will be a view for let's actually call this a view a view for creating and listing post actually creating and listing posts i think this is quite straightforward now let us go ahead and implement one for actually creating our posts so I'll, i'm going to come right here and the first thing we're going to actually need is going to be our post data so i'll do that with data is going to be equal to request so we shall access the data that comes as a result of this post request and after then we're going to actually also need to create an instance of our serializer so i'll do this with serializer is equal to our instance of our post serializer and right after doing that actually we don't need this if i'm to actually change this this will be our serializer class so can actually just do that by coming and saying that we're going to call our serializer class that we've defined within our view so i can do the same thing here so i can just come and say that shall have self dot serializer class and then we shall have our instance and many to true so here what we need is actually the data that we're going to use to save our post so the data is going to be that specific data that comes out of our post request so i'm just simply going to come and provide that and once we have that then we're going to check if this serializer is valid and in case we have it valid we're going to go ahead and basically use our serializer to save this object into our database so i'll simply come here and say if serializer dot is valid so i'm just simply going to come here and what we shall do is to say serializer dot save and once we have this then the next thing we're going to do is to actually return a response containing the response we want to actually return to the user so we're going to come and say return response so the response is going to need us to have some data so i'll say data is going to be equal to then we can actually customize our response so i'm just simply going to come here and we shall have our response and this will be a dictionary so this dictionary is going to have things such as a message and in this case we shall say post created and then we are actually going to also return the data so this data is actually going to have our serializer data now once we've done this then we are going to come and provide our data as our response and then we shall also provide our status code so in this case our status code is going to be the one for creating a new object that is status dot http 201 created all right so we've been able to create a view for creating as well as listing our posts now the next thing we're going to do is to actually attach this to a url so we're going to head over to our urls.py for our posts app and then within there i'm going to go to our view that we actually specify the one the url we specify that's going to help us to list our posts so i'm going to replace this with our post list create view and this is now a class based view so we need some way of calling it as a function so i'll call that dot as view method and once we've done this i'm going to go ahead and save so this is just enough for us to be able to create a class based view of the views we've been having so our server is running so i'm going to head over to our, to our insomnia here and the first view i'm actually going the first request i'm going to create is one for listing our posts so this is one we created for the previous video where we actually requested for all our posts and when i try to send this we now see that our list of posts has actually been returned to us and this is working successfully so we're going to go back to our views.py here it's actually returning a serializer data and that is exactly what we returned here and the status code of 200 okay so let us go ahead and try to create a post using our existing create and create and list view so i'm just going to come within our create a new post request that we created here in insomnia and what i have to do in this case is to basically so we have some sample data in here so when i try to send this we now see that our post has been created 
and in this case we see that our status code is 201 created so this is now working fine now another thing we're going to do is to implement a view that's going to help us to retrieve a post to update a post as well as to delete a post similar to what we did but in a class based way so i'm going to head over to our code right here and what i have to do is to get rid of these function based api views we created in the previous videos so i'm just simply going to come and get rid of them I'll highlight all of them and after highlighting them i'm simply going to come here and i'm actually also going to remove this one so i'm going to begin by creating a class so this class is going to be how uh, so i'll just simply call this the post retrieve and in this case i'll call this a post retrieve update and delete view so it's going to be the post retrieve update and delete view so this is going to inherit from our <coughs> api view class and in this case i'm going to come right here and all i have to say is that we're going to have our update delete api view so once we have this then the first thing we shall need to specify is going to be a serializer class just like we did for the previous view so i'm just going to come and specify that we're going to have a serializer class and this is actually going to be our post serializer sorry for this so it's going to be our post post serializer and once we have this then i'm going to define the three methods that are specific to this view so we're going to begin with the one for getting so this is going to get our post so we shall have to have a request which is going to be of type request and then we're also going to have our post id so in this case we shall have our post id and this will be an integer so i'll pass this for now and then we're also going to have our put request so in this case we shall have self and then request so we shall have this being a type of request and then we shall also have our post id because we're going to use this to query for our object so once i have this then i'll also pass this now we shall also implement the one for deleting so i'll just come right here and say that we're going to delete shall take in self the request object it's going to be of type request and then we shall have our post id so in this case we're going to have our post id which is going to be an integer so i'll pass this for now as well so the first thing we're going to do is to implement one for getting our post by its post id so the way we're going to do that is by writing a query so i'm going to say that our post is actually going to be equal to so we're going to use the shortcut of get object 404 and in this case shall be get object 404 then you shall have to have our post model and then you shall specify that what you're actually querying for is our primary key and if that primary key is actually equal to our post id then that is our exact post that we need then you shall have to call our serializer so i'm going to come and say that we're going to have our serializer being equal to self and in this case we shall call our serializer class and then we're going to take in the instance so our instance in this case is going to be the post we've queried for and then we shall simply return this within our response so i'm simply going to come and say return and in this case we shall return a response and this response is going to have our data as our serializer data so i'll just come and say serializer dot data and then we shall specify our status code to be status dot http and in this case we shall say 200 and then this is going to be a successful 200 request all right so when i save this uh we hope that our server is still running of course it's running but we are getting an error here that we're going to fix in a second so let's actually also work on one for updating our post so i'm just going to come right here and the first thing i'll do is to actually query for our post just like we did here i'll paste this in so let me fix this indentation and once i do that then i'm simply going to also uh, require to have data that comes with a request so we shall say that our data is going to be equal to our request data and once we have this thing we shall create an instance of our serializer so this is going to be serializer 
being equal to our self dot serializer class and then here we are actually going to have our instance or the object we want to actually update so our instance in this case is going to be equal to our post and then we are going to have our data so this data is going to be equal to our request data now that we have this let us go ahead and use our serializer to save our updated post object so we shall have to check if it's valid so i'll do that with if serializer dot is valid then we are going to go ahead and use our serializer to save this so i'm just simply going to come and say serializer dot save and once you have this then you shall have to return our response so in this case we're going to return our response and this response is going to have data so uh, this data is going to be our serializer data so let's actually basically return a response and this response is going to be an a dictionary so this dictionary will have things such as the the message so let's just have a message and this message is going to be a uh, post updated And once we have this, then we shall also have our data for this response. And this is going to be our serializer data. So once we have that, then I'm just simply going to come and specify that this is going to be our response. So we shall have our status being status dot HTTP. And this will be 200. It's actually status dot HTTP 200. Okay. All right, and another thing I actually forgot for the first example was to create a response that's returned in case we have errors uh, in our serializer. So I'm going to do that here by returning. So in this case, in case we have errors, we're going to return response and shall have our data. And this data is going to be serializers dot errors so we shall access any errors that we shall find in our validations and then we are going to return a status code of dot http 400 which is going to be a bad request now i'm going to do the same thing for our post request i'm going to copy this line of code and i'll simply go back to the class based view we actually wrote for the previous view and then paste it right here so i'm going to fix this indentation and this is actually good to go so we're going to go ahead and also implement the one for deleting and this is actually going to be simple so the first thing we shall need to do is to query for our post so i'll query i'll just uh copy the query here and then paste our post here and once i have this then the next thing we shall do is to delete this post so i'll just come and say post dot delete and then we shall have to return a response so the response is going to have a status code and in this case we shall not return any post or any response body for this case so we shall just return a status code of status dot http 204 no content so i'm going to go ahead and save this and our server is going to restart but we have to create a url for this specific view so i'll go and do that within our urls.py and now i'm going to remove some of these many urls that we created we're actually going to just use only one so shall use the one that goes to slash posts and then slash post id so instead of having a post detail view we are going to have a post retrieve update delete view so i'm going to call that dot as view method and then save so our server is actually going to reload we don't have any errors so let's go ahead and try this out so when i go right in here i'll begin by getting a post by its id so i'll go to the request we created for getting a post by the id and in this case when i send we actually see our post has been returned successfully so let's try one for actually updating a post given an id so i'll go to update a post 
and in this case we have updated title and updated content so let's try to actually get all posts and we see a post to update so let's just update a post with id of one so i'm going to go ahead and update the post with id of one so we see that we need to actually provide a, a, a slash so i'm just going to come here and add a slash so when we send this we actually see that our post has been updated and even when you try to get that post we see that it has an updated title and an updated content so this is actually working so let's actually try to also delete that post with id of one i'm just going to come and provide the id here and then send and now we see that the post has been deleted so let's actually try to also get that post i'll just come and get all posts and when you try to send this request you now see that the post has been gone all right so we've been able to look at how we can use the api view class to create our api views in a class-based way the next thing we're going to look at is model mixings so django rest frameworks provides us mixing classes that we can use with class-based views to help us carry out most of the functionality that we may write in very many lines of code just like we've seen in the previous example so let's just go ahead and look at how to do that so to do this we are going to go within our views.py uh, that is within our views modules in our posts app and the first thing we're going to do is to update our view functions or our view classes we've been writing into generic api views so django rest framework provides for us generic api views that are specific to things such as creating reading updating and deleting and by using such views we are actually able to carry out such functionalities without having to write so much code and let us begin by using the generic api view class so the generic api view works similar to a way that we've been able to describe our api views right here but in this case we're going to use it with mixings so what you're going to do is to get rid of the classes we've done so we're going to be shortening this code in a very crazy way actually let's not get rid of them let us keep the name so i'm just simply going to keep this with a serializer class which is actually the post retrieve update delete view with its serializer class and i'm going to do the same thing for our post list create view with its serializer class now i'm also going to update our api view so i'm going to change this and what i'll have to do is to actually import our generics and then i'm going to simply inherit from generics to generic api view so i'll just come and say that we're going to inherit from the generic api view and then we're also going to import our mixings so i'll just go at the top right here and then say that we're going to have our mixings so after importing our mixings, then we are going to subclass from those mixings. Now let's say our post list create view allows us to list our posts as well as to create our posts. Now we're going to use the model mixings for both of these functionalities. So I'm going to inherit from the generic API view, but I'm also going to inherit from the mixings. Dot. In this case, we shall inherit from the list model mixing. And after doing that, then we are going to also inherit from our mixings dot create model mixing so once we have our mixings imported let us go ahead and define our functions or our methods so i'll begin with the get method so i'm going to come and say we're going to have a get method that's going to take in self it's also going to take in our request object that is of type request and then we're also going to take in some uh, positional arguments as well as some keyword arguments so i'll just come here and provide them as args and then quags and once we have that then we're going to simply return a method on our model mixings now the beauty with using mixings is it helps us to basically carry out functionality such as listing our posts without us having to actually do the database querying and stuff like that what we have to actually define is just a query set so to do that i'm just simply going to come right here so we've defined our serializer class here now we shall also define our query set so i'm just going to come here and say that shall have our query set as an attribute and this query set is going to be post dot objects dot all 
and once we have this then all we can do is to simply come right here and then return a method for that specific model mixing you want to use so i'm just simply going to come here and instead of returning our response in this case we are just going to come and return and what i have to return in this case is self dot so in this case we are going to list our object so i'll just call the list method and this list method will take in the request object that we have in our view function it will also take in any positional arguments as well as all keyword arguments that we've actually defined so let us go ahead and do the same thing for our post method so to do that i'll just simply come and say def post and then here shall have self and then request so this is actually going to be of type request and then shall have any args as well as keyword arguments so just come and say we need to have our keyword arguments here and once you have this in instead of writing all the code that you wrote in the previous examples we're just simply going to come and say self dot in this case we shall say create and then this will take in our request object as well as our arguments and keyword arguments so i'm just going to come and say args and then quags so i'll save this so let's go ahead and actually look at how this will function hoping that our server is running which is running i'm just going to go to insomnia right here and let us try to first get all of our posts i'm going to send this request and now we see that it's actually returning all our post objects as they are in our database and this is happening in just one line of code so this is amazing because then it will have to save you from writing a lot of code while having to implement your view so i'm also going to do the same thing for creating our post so let's just go to where we create a new post and here we're going to make this post request and when i try to send this we now see that our post has been created and even when you go to get all posts we're actually seeing that post of id9 created this is amazing so let us do the same thing for our for our updating retrieving and deleting so i'm just simply going to come here and what i have to do is to remove the api view class so we need to inherit from the generics dot generic api view and then we're also going to inherit from other mixings so i'm just going to come here and provide mixings and we're going to have the retrieve model mixing that's for getting one particular post object and then we're also going to have mixings dot what you shall have in this case is the update model mixing and then we're also going to have mixings dot in this case shall have the destroy model mixing so let us go ahead and try to implement these methods now i'm going to come right here and what i have to do is to define our get method so this is going to be the one for retrieving an individual post so we shall have self and then we shall take in our request object so this request object is going to be of type request and then we shall have arguments and then we shall also have keyword arguments so i'm just simply going to call our methods on our model mixings now I'm just simply going to come here and all i have to do is to return self dot in this case we shall call the retrieve method that will also work in the same way so we shall take in our request we shall take in our eggs and then we shall also take in our keyword eggs so this is actually going to be uh arguments a list of ads so we shall also have keyword arguments and let's go ahead and also do the same thing for our updating so i'll just come and say def put and this is actually going to take in request it's actually going to first take in self since we are in a class then return take in request which is of type request and then we shall take in our arguments as well as our key word arguments all right so i'm just going to come and return self so in this case we are re returning the update method that's coming from our update model mixing so to also take in self actually it's going to take in our request our arguments as well as our key word arguments so we're going to do the same thing for our post or actually for the one for deleting our post so i'll just come and say def delete 
self and in this case we shall have our request and we shall also have it being of type request and we shall have our arguments and our keyword arguments so i'm just simply going to come and return this and this will be self dot in this case we shall call that destroy method which is going to take in the same argument so we shall have our request our arguments as well as our key word arguments all right now that we've been able to do this we've actually observed that when we use our model mixings we write less code and this is a very beautiful feature of general rest framework as being able to write only this code and be able to carry out all that functionality is actually amazing so let us go ahead and try to test these api views so we're going to begin with one for retrieving a post object so i'll just come right here and then go to where i would get a post by its id so when i try to send this we see so here we should have a query set attribute actually that should be defined on our on our view class we didn't define it so i'm actually going to return our query set and this query set is going to be our post dot objects dot all and hoping that this is going to fix our error our server is going to restart so when i go back this side and try to get this post we actually see uh actually this should take in a pk in our url so when you go back here we need to fix this and instead of having a post id shall have provided it as a primary key so when you go back this side and try to get this let's see seem like our server is down it's actually restarted so when you try to send this we now see that our post is not found but let us try to get post of id of three and now it's returning the exact post with our id of three so when you go to updating let's update the post with id of three so this actually has land drf as the post title so when you go to updating a post now we're going to specify that we shall have some json which is going to be having a title of updated title and content of updated content so i'm going to provide the id as three and when you try to send this our post has been updated so when you go back to get this post by its id we now see that this content is being updated so when i try to delete this post i'm going to go to our id of three and when i send this we now see that our post has been deleted so when i go and try to get all posts we actually see that our post of id3 is not existing within our list of posts now this is an amazing feature about the Django rest framework and i hope you've learned from this video thank you for watching and if you've enjoyed from this video please consider leaving a like don't forget to subscribe if this is the first time you're watching me thank you for watching and see you in the next video bye